I'm Gareth Hancock, I'm the Dairy Manager for Newcastle University at Nafferton Farm. The idea was to um, improve the data quality that we have across the whole farm and the easiest way we saw to do that was to remove as much of the human element that we could so we tried to take as much of it automated with the collar systems. Once the system's on and in place it's pretty much working on its own and we don't have to be involved with it too much. The, the, the system is monitoring the cows 24-7 um, and then at the start of each milking um, we will have looked at the, the data that's generated in terms of heats and then we'll make selection decisions based upon that. So the system we were using before when it was just the herds and catching cows that were bulling, there was no way of, of picking an optimum time. So moving forward we, we want to try and select cows that are in the middle of the green band as, as, as near as possible. So I think it will make a big difference to, to conception rates. I think for us we realised that the system wouldn't necessarily identify exactly what the health issue was. It won't say this cow has mastitis, but it, what it will do is identify the animal from the group. So if you've got five or six hundred cows, it can be quite difficult to select 20 cows that you feel that you know are showing signs of ill health. If the system does that for you, um, you can then use your herdsman instinct and actually look at those cows individually to find the actual health issue. Not everybody wants to be sat behind a computer looking at the data, but the fact that the data comes to someone's mobile phone helps with interpretation across the whole staff that we have. The fact that I don't have to be at the parlour to see the, the animals that need sorting means that I can actually select those cows to be sorted myself. We can have an input without having to be in the parlour all the time. As a block carving system, we will do things um, pre-mating. So three weeks before we would start AIing, we would, we would observe heats and then make decisions based on intervention and things if, if that cow hasn't been seen bulling in the period pre-mating. So I think a, a unique thing to the system is that it will enable us to do that pre-mating without having to paint all the cows with tail paint. We can look back on the data and identify if they've you know, been in heat prior to actually starting mating. Generally, when a cow has been served and, and it goes into that stage whereby it, it's been served, the herdsman's attention is drawn from those animals slightly because we assume that they're in calf. Um, so I think there's definitely an advantage, you know, in terms of calving index, it would be a big, a big help to reduce that. Um, if you can see cows that have been presumed in calf and they're not, you know, for whatever reason, are not. A lot of what the university does is research, and so. Um, it's nice for the university to be able to come out and see the animals that they're doing the research on. And instead of coming and looking at our animals and then taking data from another country or another herd, um, this facility enables us to provide almost live data, day to day, back to the university, which will help with the research projects moving forward.